is ready and it smells delightfully delicious. Why don't you two darlings go wash up for dinner? Don't take too long or we might start without you. <laughs> Doing as they're told? <laughs> the twins might be turning over a new leaf. <gasps> You see, this is why I never had kids. Well, that and being a cave with no real form of reproduction. But that's beside the point. The point is, the twins... Well, I don't know if there is a point to their madness. But they may find their newfound freedom comes at a cost greater than they're capable of imagining. And as with the rest of our travelers, and perhaps even you, I guess only time will tell. Shall we continue our journey? It's been so enlightening thus far. Ooh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Ah, the zoo. Observe nature's wondrous and... You aren't getting away this time, beast. This place is a nightmare. I hate zoos. No, I never like zoos. Never. Beast Hunter Podcast, day 541. The Crystal Cave Monster escaped again. She's still hungry, so I'm camped out near her favorite food. When I hear her shriek and roar, the hunt is on. Oh, blast. This worthless gizmo is out of batteries. Hey, who are you? Don't touch those hot dogs.
look, she's safe after all. Surely there are no limits to the charity and altruism this pair can bring to the world now that they've been reunited. Ah, these three. I had high hopes when they first arrived, but you'd be surprised how useless a clown can be in a high-pressure life-and-death situation. like that battery is all charged up now. Well, whatever else happens down here, our heroes could always consider careers as nature documentarians. It's the beast! And I am here without a camera crew to document my triumph! Oh, no matter. Valor waits for no woman! All of that for a frankfurter. Well, at least it's kosher.
I suppose it's true what they say. If you want to make an omelette, you have to consign the last member of an ancient species to oblivion while destroying someone else's lifelong dreams and desires. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. I've tried to keep the cave a nuclear-free zone, but I don't have control over the darkness that lurks in the hearts of those who venture down here. Worry not. Someone would have to do something pretty stupid and careless to launch that thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying that either. Whew. Clearly, this is a dead end. We might be spared nuclear Armageddon simply because someone forgot to put in a door. Let's hope laziness and apathy take over, and they leave the way they came in. Props where props are due. Like most vending machines, that one was protected by a 256-bit RSA symmetric key algorithm. The scientist has certainly built up some elite hacking skills, which, as I'm sure we're all about to find out, are not always used for good. Well, there's not much we can do now but sit back and watch the fireworks. And by fireworks, I mean a near instantaneous release of energy from a high-speed nuclear chain reaction of highly enriched weapons-grade uranium. So, she got that blast door open without causing wanton havoc and senseless destruction after all. I might have misjudged her. Missile launch systems engaged. Missile boosters engaged. Insert warhead to commence launch. Insert guided system to commence launch. Hmm, I fear nuclear missiles are like potato chips to her. She can't launch just one.
Mm-mm. Launch pre-sequence initiated. Opening bunker interior bulkhead. Advise emergency procedure. Zero, four, five, Don't one. Don't touch that console! Hey, they're not engaged. doing what it looks like they're doing, are they? Global target acquisition phase complete. Computer core memory diagnostic is complete. Insert guidance system to commence launch. Auxiliary flame suppression pool is empty. Insert warhead to commence launch. Huh? Intruder, stay away from the console. Warhead installed. They can't know what they're complete. really about to do here. Don't move or I'll shoot! Stop or I'll shoot! Auxiliary flame suppression pool is empty. One more step, and I'll Warning. shoot! Overflow in death toll calculation register A3.
Incorrect code. Intrusion detected. Master entry code resetting. Upper hatch disengaged at T minus 27. Missile base security compromised. Don't move or I'll shoot! Insert guidance system to commence launch. Insert guidance system to commence launch. Insert guidance system to commence launch. Intruder detected. One more step, and I'll shoot! Don't move, or I'll shoot! Insert guidance system to commence launch.
Auxiliary flame suppression pool is empty. Intruder detected. Auxiliary flame suppression pool is empty. Insert guidance system to commence launch. Intruder detected. Global target acquisition phase complete. Intruder detected. Auxiliary flame suppression pool is empty. Global target acquisition phase complete. Please replace it with a new one.
Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Yeah, I read that somewhere. Seems appropriate. Warning. Overflow in death toll calculation register A3. to commence launch. Global target acquisition base complete. Celsius. Computer core memory diagnostic is complete. Auxiliary flame suppression pool is empty. Nuclear missile launch commenced. 
estimated death toll is 100 million, with an error margin of 2 million. Please wash hands after launching missile. we just witnessed may seem like horrific and pointless destruction, but if you step back and take in the big picture, you will surely see that the lives of a hundred million people pale in comparison to being able to spelunk a little further. <laughs> hmm, what's done is done. Hey, anyone know any sea shanties? 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Oh, that's more a bar song than a sea shanty. Ooh, I've got one. 99 bottles of rum on the wall, 99 bottles of rum. <laughs> Rescued. Rescued? Shut up. After years on this blasted island, <laughs> I can finally leave. Finally leave? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to go collect my stuff and get my beloved dog Spanky so we can skedaddle. Beloved dog. Shut up. Well, from stuck in a cave to marooned on an island stuck in a cave, Things aren't exactly looking up for our friends now, Take are they? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> when you get that boat of yours to the other side of the island, give me a shout. I'll join you for the big rescue. I'm not sure how to break it to that adorable old hermit, but their boat only seats three people. Might I suggest to our three friends that they move the boat across the island very quietly? Quietly! Shut up!
six.
wish I could remember why I came here in the first place. <laughs> After years on this blasted island, <laughs> I can finally leave. Finally leave. Shut up. Shut up. Hmm. I wonder if the dog is ranked. off this island. <laughs> I think I've got everything I need. Shove off any time. I knew he was going to be trouble. Right here in Island City. Trouble with a capital T, which rhymes with P, which stands for... Hermit. Uh, hmm. Okay, that didn't quite work. But he's still trouble. Trouble with a capital H, which stands for Hermit. <laughs> there. Much better. and I'll be back in a flash. Don't be without us. Spanky gets his own seat, so someone will need to swim. I'm no lawyer, but maritime law clearly allows for the abandonment of annoying hermits. And really, the stranding of a lone hermit pales in comparison to what we've seen from these three so far. <laughs> I do wonder if any lessons have been learned this evening. Maybe by you and me, but I fear not by them. Well, we shall see soon enough.
Well, you took long enough. I was gonna send out the search party, but they're still looking for the last group. You didn't happen to run into an annoying clown, did you? That doesn't matter. We just got a new shipment of trinkets that should satisfy your every desire. But I can't give them to you without suitable replacements. So, take this giant novelty-sized key, again, and open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. What a fabulous replacement trinket. Oh, that will do just fine. Hey, it's not stealing if they didn't see you take it. Am I right? You earned it. After all the hard work, you want to return? Look, you should really think carefully. Oh, it looks like your mind is made up. So I'll reluctantly take... Splendid! That will look nice on the shelf. Taking the thing someone else desires most was a stroke of genius. There you go. You want to return the thing you... I'm just looking out for you when I say this. Very well. Just because it's you, I'll take it back.
you've outdone yourself on this one. After all, possession is nine-tenths of the law. That other one-tenth, Enjoy. After all the hard work, you really should think about keeping that. It came at great cost. I don't know who else would buy such a, uh, you know, particular item, but uh, I'll take it back. The customer is always right. We close at five, so uh, you might want to get a move on it. Well, this brings our exciting journey to an end this evening. I hope you had as much fun as I did. The important thing to remember is, there are no refunds in the cave. No price can be put on the lessons learnt down here. We carry them throughout our lives, and hopefully find ourselves on a new and better path. I say we, of course, but I mean you. After all, I'm just a talking cave.